Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hi, how y'all doing? <laughs> being back but it also feels so so good the reason why i'm excited because this is my first video um uh, that i am going to be blogging blogging <laughs> vlogging since i feel like it's been almost a year i'm pretty sure you'll probably end up seeing some other videos before this one but if not hey first video first everything since being back but today's video we're just gonna go ahead and hop right into it i am gonna be going to target because i need to find some dye for the carpet floors because i am still battling potty training when it comes to nala noel is potty trained let's sit down and talk about it so yeah like i was saying and if you hear the girls in the background obviously they're playing but your girl is still battling potty training like I was saying. Currently, if you don't remember, Nala is four. She just turned four in February and this is July. One of the things that she's actually battling is wanting to go number two. She will go wee. The biggest thing is her at night or when she's in her room playing in it because she wants it off herself. We do put potty in her room and we also do tell her if she needs help to let us know and we'll help her in the middle of the night because her room is directly next to our room. She doesn't call out for us. She does urinate in the potty, but she does not fully poo in it. And therefore, she'd rather take it out of her undies and wipe it on the walls, on the floor, wherever she wants to. And she thinks it's kind of like a game, essentially. From what I've heard, this is the thing. Generally, it does happen when they're more so two, three, but it does happen. It is a phase I have researched it. We probably been potty training her for like two years. No lie. It's a work in progress. If you guys have any advice on what I could do, like I said, I do have timers. I have talks with her all day, every day. I consistently take her to the potty. I always tell her not to mess with her a potty, to call on us when she gots to go i don't even think it's that she doesn't know how to go she just doesn't want to go and with her sister it's the polar opposite her sister will go anytime every time multiple times if she has to and she announce it every time so anyway the other day or two she had had massive like incidents where she just really went in mind you this is not an everyday thing this is a here and there there thing but like a couple days in a row last week, she was really like messing with it, putting it on her house. I had bought them house bed on her walls, got it on the carpet, and essentially her room reeks. So I do have to end up shampooing her floors, but one of the things I want to do is dye the floors a darker gray color because one, with kids, it's hard to keep it clean. And she is a busy body, even without the poop or whatever. She rambles, she flips all over her floor. Her floor is just hard to keep clean. So I really want to clean it. I have been seeing people use Rit dye to dye their carpets. And at this rate, her carpet ain't coming back to life. <laughs> so, I mean, the worst can happen is it just looks a little weird but oh well now the hard thing is going to be doing is how to maneuver the house bed when dying the floor because one thing for certain two things for sure i am not breaking down that bed it is not a thing and you will see why i'm not breaking down that bed so i'm gonna have to work maybe in sections so i have to work on re-cleaning her walls clean her floors clean deeply clean her house and rewash her sheets again i just washed the sheets a couple of days ago but i'm gonna just do it again let me go ahead and show you what <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing i don't know what to do <laughs> It is embarrassing, but the reason why I am talking about it, it's not even as embarrassing. It's life. It happens. They're kids. They do things. But if there's anybody that can help, anybody maybe have gone through the same things, let's have a conversation about it down below. Let's not be judgmental. Let's help each other. And just, even if it's come to venting, because of disrespect. <sighs> 
let's just check it out. By the way, the playroom looks so cute right now. David cleaned it. Look at it. So cute. Now, this is early in the morning. I'ma just be raw with, real with y'all and show y'all what it's looking like and why I need to dye it. Oh, also one thing I did do, which you will notice when I turn the camera around, um, I did um, take off one of the windows to their playhouse to combat her being able to smear things on the wall. But this is what her floors is looking like. Yes. Oh, another thing she does do sometimes when her potty is full, in the middle of the night I have to come and check on her potty because then she would get upset that there's potty or urine or stuff and try to pick up her urine to try to pour it somewhere or get rid of it and then it gets on her floor so yes this is what it honestly looks like so this is what i was talking about this is her actual house bed and this actually has two windows this is a twin mattress <laughs> he is killing me that i got off amazon and it has two windows and she would climb up here but i recently took it off just to make sure it's easy for her to get out Wait. how you doing buddy chilling yeah we have got the house clean and everything else and this is exactly why I said I'm not taking it out because I have to take out all these little planks here and it has three screws in each four and that took a lot also did hers the same way just because I didn't want Nala feeling different about her bed versus Noelle's bed so you'll see a little bit of difference her carpet is dirty yes and I think the camera makes it look worse than what it does but really no issues, her potty here, and this is her bed, and this is her room. So we're gonna go ahead and get ready to go to Target to pick up that stuff. I have also some returns, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, and we off. I feel like David wanted to come outside today, but I need to get going and get motivation to do stuff today, and I can't. I can't do it with the kids. But how are you guys doing today? Like I said, it feels so good and so weird a little bit to be doing this again, but I love it here. I miss it here. For some reason, haven't been as, I don't know, willing to update. I don't know why. I can't tell you why. Like a part of my head in the beginning was like, oh like don't give away too much because then you can post this on youtube but sometimes i forget that instagram people don't always be on youtube and then you know vice versa youtube people don't always be on instagram so it's good to give both audiences a a peep and what's going on because nine times out of ten even right now i don't have as much of an audience as i had before so just do it just put it out there just record and you know and let it be that because some things are just more so in real time and not so much let's make a video out of this you know so I actually do a lot of stuff <laughs> I'm always doing stuff to be honest I'm not even it's weird to say but I'm not real big of a social media type person like when I post things it's a conscious decision whether it's on Instagram or or YouTube it's a very 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 conscious decision to do so because otherwise my social media would be dead but yeah let's go ahead and um, get going to Target Alright, so I am finally here. I made my returns and now I'm in the family dollar spot where I should not be, honestly. Look at this stuff. Hold on. Sorry for the camera quality, but my camera already died. <laughs> Who knew? I would so love one of these things, but I have no reason to have it. What is this? 
a little five dollar table oh i feel like i gotta get it oh i love this i feel like i gotta do it i'm gonna get it it's probably short but i'm gonna get it uh you got wild towel hmm more precious soap dispenser these are so cute so cute Ooh, a cleaning mat oh i feel like i need this but why do i need it but i feel like i need it oh, these are so pretty oh it's like felt not for three dollars though writing book i am working on the girls writing Hmm. My addition workbook. My hands are so ugly, y'all. Don't don't look at that. I might get a couple of these. This might be good for them. So addition. Right in. One through twenty. This might be a little too much. Yeah, I'm gonna put this one back. I'm gonna do both. Even though Nala knows how to count to like 40 on her own, but some of these things would be good for her. Oh, these are nice. Little folding tray. It's so short though. So cool for like a little picnic or something. In my head, I would love to do that, but won't actually do it. Laptop. Kind of like this, but then I feel like this. I could just grab a pillow. So I don't know. I don't know what it is. Well, I actually do, but I have an infatuation right now with an ice maker. I so want one. Oh my gosh, this is $100, but it's bullet shaped ice. I don't want bullet shaped. Oh my gosh. I so want like that bullet nugget, nugget, nugget shaped ice. Look at it. 329 though. I can't justify 329 I gotta wait till it goes on sale. I am here oh, for yeah. this. They don't have any gray though. Oh no. They don't have no gray. Okay, I'm gonna have to go to the other one. All right, I think I have found it. This and two blacks. Yeah. I would so love to get the girls something like this, but I feel like they would definitely break it. But then, is that a bad thing? Uh, and they get to color it. Oh, they would love that. <laughs> I'm gonna think about it. Hey guys, back at the house. Sorry, I'm a little sweaty. Oh, that's the girls. What y'all doing? I think they need to play robot. Huh? Playing robot? Yeah. Where your daddy? See, he's being Buddha again. Okay, you Let's see. Playing with boxes. It's a small thing. Okay, we're gonna take advantage while we can. Oh, you see my light. <laughs> I'm hoping that this is really working well because, you know, I don't know. That's fine, David. By the way, I don't think I'm gonna be doing the dye today. And I say that because um, it's already like three o'clock. Being that there's nap time, I'm probably not gonna do it today, but I just wanted to let you know what my intentions are. And maybe that's something I can start on tomorrow because I don't even have the little sprayer with me. Target didn't even have it. Oh my God, let me try to have it. Girls, y'all ain't even eat all y'all food. Well, y'all let daddy eat, eat your fries. No, welcome, eat your fries. Y'all didn't even eat y'all food before y'all started playing. 
That's fine. You just gotta eat your food. Sage, get off my table. I'm off the table. Thank you. It's okay, baby. Just try to eat your food. I have to like be on top of them about them eating their food because otherwise they'll just play, play, play and not eat. But they need to eat their food because I'm trying to break them out of this pickiness. And it's like, we waste a lot of food trying to give them options and options really, unless they genuinely don't like something, they don't have no other option. Where did David go? That's why I'm pacing around like a crazy person. Cause I don't see, let me check the front door. Man, I've been sitting here searching for you. I told you I was just back there. Oh, you was taking a dunk. I tried, but nothing happened. Oh, gosh. I was gonna throw that box away, but. Yeah. But Sage just went in it. I guess that's his new home. Yeah, whatever worked. I was coming to find you because I wanted to talk about some of the stuff. Come on, player, player. The people haven't seen you in a minute. Say hi. Hey. So, anywho, I've been talking to the good people about. Um, about the transitions with mm -hmm. the girls, trying to get them to eat, kind of dealing with the whole potty thing that David didn't really want me to talk about, but I feel like it's important. It's important because I know that we're not the only people who are struggling with this. David just came back from Sam's Club. Yeah. He had bought these uh, chicken fried rice bags that I just caught a glimpse of because I just put something in the deep freezer. That's that's her favorite. Mm. But how do you feel about this transition that we're trying to go through with me being home and try to help with the potty training and all that? Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. Go ahead. I like it overall. I like you being home. You know, doing your part with the kids because definitely was needed <laughs> <laughs> it's hard especially you gotta think when we was doing all the like the sleep training transitions and all that stuff it kind of feels like that to be honest like trying to battle potty training and equally going through these steps kind of thing to stay on top of it so it kind of feels like that type of consistency I am noticing small progressions that I'm hoping that soon will turn into completely fully potty trained. Because this is another thing, right? One thing they don't talk about is when you don't have a child at the age of four who is not 100% potty trained, daycares don't like that. It's almost like a requirement. It's not almost, it is a requirement. Yeah. Where a lot of schools will tell you they have to be potty trained at, at the age of four. Some of them even three. And that is discouraging. When and it says no no accidents either. Yeah, no accidents. Yeah. And I feel like nobody talks about that. And that, and that is kind of like, um, I don't know what the right word is. It's not overwhelming, but it makes you feel a little defeated where these places feel like that. Now, at the daycare they was just at, they would have dealt with it because they've been at the daycare since they've pretty much been open. So I think Nala has been one of those cases where she slid through the cracks. They knew them since, what, one and two? It's one of those things that they do in order to get away from eating their food. And and now, I don't know if you guys heard Noelle saying, I gotta go potty, but now what they're doing is when Noelle starts running to the potty, Nala tries to beat her to the potty and we'll jump on the potty so that Noelle can't use it. Sibling rivalry, I just don't understand. That's another thing, this is a side note. <sighs> Trying to get the other one to realize, this is a problem when it, when it comes to having kids so much in the same, close in age. Because one for one, when you get one something, you have to get the other something. And then they just all think they have their own thing or this is theirs this is theirs and it's like no it's both of yours and then i always want to feel like i have to 
Let's check on these girls. <laughs> Girls, make sure you're pottying. Focus on pottying, okay? Okay, okay. Nala Noel, make sure you are wiping. Uh, what? <laughs> you're wiping. I'm wiping. I made that my mind. Wipe your butt. <laughs> Use the pump. <laughs> I had a dollar for all the funny positions he'd be in. <sighs> I gotta go. Get me a beer. <laughs> I don't even know what I was talking about for real. I had to go get me a beer. I'm trying to talk about their transition. It's hard. Our tra the overall transition. Maybe we got, come on. Oh, look at that lighting. Yeah, it's amazing lighting. Are you blurry? Okay. I don't know. I got glasses on, still can't see. Ain't that something? Nah, that's me for real. <laughs> all right, so we had to come to the playroom because first of all, look at this lighting. Two, um, y'all, we can't just get in dis interrupted. I can't even talk, interrupted. One thing I was talking about. Here? Come here, Sage. He always finds a way through the doors. <laughs> look at him. I feel like this is a meat Sage thumbnail. Yeah, like the purr, probably purr and gets the mic. Look at him. Yeah, but um, one thing they don't really talk about is how daycares don't really accept kids who aren't potty trained. They don't really have bathrooms in those areas. So sometimes what will happen if they do have a kid who's in those transitions, they won't even promote them just because they're not potty trained which I think is ridiculous because what if they were a little just delayed what if it was like an ESC kid or something like that I hope I said that right but what if they were like that you're telling me you're not willing to have one person especially if you have enough to <laughs> bless, bless you. you thank you <laughs> <laughs> she's the only one I know that says bless me it doesn't even give a chance for someone to say Sorry, bless you. It's such a habit nowadays. <laughs> it's such a habit because I'm tired of people not saying bless you. It's like, it's rude. Not saying like you or anything like that. It's mainly I get a habit from out in the world and me being around people and they won't even say bless you. Yeah. I still gotta get blessed, so I bless myself. Your blessing coming through too. Go ahead. <laughs> Your blessing coming through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I just think, especially if you have two teachers in the room, there should not be an excuse. Like, I I don't think their educational promotion should dictate by their delay of potty training. So, now we're kind of... I wonder if that's one of the criteria they use to see if a kid needs to be in a special class or a different class. But then, that that's disrespectful. That don't make no sense. How can someone's physical capability compare to their mental capabilities? Mm -hmm. Like this should never be a comparison because that's like saying, oh, what if somebody's in a wheelchair? Mm -hmm. They can't go to daycare? Is that a thing? Is that how it works? I've never seen a kid in daycare who is Oh my God, I just thought about that. Yeah. Comment down below if you know the answer to that because I never even thought about it before. And they have to be, I know they have to be ADA, ADA accessible, but I've never seen a kid who needed extra help in daycare. So does that make them more delayed because they may, they're not physically capable to go to daycare, but they're not, they don't mean that they're mentally behind, but because they're not able to get that education, does I, that make them kind of delayed because they're not getting the education or are they solely depending on the the parent to make them there until they go to like public school i don't know if they just categorize it as this kid needs extra help and we don't have enough people to help them so we gotta put them in a, a smaller class oh my god so this makes me think know. even harder like what about like single parents with a disabled kid like how are they handling that? Like because it's like if their child can't go to daycare, but then they're the sole provider for their kid. Mm -hmm. How does that work? Maybe the state give assistance. 
probably. It just dawned on me. Sorry to go off on a little like you got a couple of work. A lot of tangents. <laughs> y'all know how this go. Y'all should know. If y'all don't remember now, <laughs> it's us. But I hope that just bring awareness because I would like to know. And if you have dealt with that, you know, because really that's how it is. It's like a punishment essentially. Mm -hmm. For not being where they feel you should be. In all reality, textbook, most kids don't even supposed to, textbook wise, start until like close to four, potty training. Because uh, they say um, wait until they're mentally at a point to understand like what the process is in. And that's what they say it makes it a lot easier and faster to start potty training at four. Uh, versus trying to get them at like one or two, mm -hmm. which makes sense because mm -hmm. they're gonna be more rebellious because they don't even know what's going on. So yeah. I don't know, but anyway, we're kind of transitioning that. So right now we have one month to kind of get her fully on road. Yeah, because because if they don't, we're gonna basically put them in daycare part time off of hope and a prayer that they just accept it if she does have an accident. Hoping that we can find a daycare that has that option too, because we, we're doing all our tours this week. Yeah, we go on tour tomorrow and Thursday, which I don't know, you taking work off or something? Yeah, I'll, I'll just come go and on go there. back. So, yeah, that's kind of what's happening. Like I said, uh, I'm kind of giving David the update at the same time, because he know I'd be talking about stuff, but then I should be doing stuff too. So, as he knows or should know by now, I'm dying the carpet, which I have had a conversation with you about because y'all seen that carpet one thing we can say is it's the original carpet that came with the house when it was built so yeah. you know like they don't be putting a lot of money into those no because so. usually if you have honestly if you have really good carpet your carpet won't stain like that so this is the carpet to experiment on yeah the way that it looks now keeping it ain't helping the aesthetics like <laughs> wish me luck but for real, I just wanted to get back into the first vlog. Talking back to y'all again. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to be the first video back, but like I said, this is the first one I'm actually filming. So yeah, but I think I'm going to just go ahead and let you guys go. And if I'm missing anything, y'all will see it in the next clip. But otherwise, this is going to be it for this video. I definitely miss you guys. I definitely love you guys. And we'll see you guys in the next one. We're back again. Back. So excited. <laughs>